Hi, in this video we're going to write this as a single trig function. We have the tangent of x plus the cotangent of x. It's all being multiplied by the sine of x. So let's go ahead and work through it. We'll start by basically writing the tangent and cotangent in terms of sine and cosine because that will probably help us uh, when we multiply. So tangent is sine over cosine. This is sine x over cosine x plus, and then cotangent is cosine over sine x. And then here we have the sine of x. All right, let's go ahead and multiply through by the sine of x and see what happens. So this is equal to, so if we do sine of x times this, basically we're multiplying the sine times the sine, because you can think of this as sine x over one. So we're gonna get sine squared x over, and then we still have the cosine x on the bottom. And then plus, here we'll, we'll end up canceling, right? These will cancel, and so we'll just get cosine x. So now the only thing we can really do is maybe add these. So before we add these, we need to have a common denominator. And remember that this is really a fraction where one is the denominator. So if we can make it a cosine, then we can add these up. So to do that, we're basically going to multiply by cosine x over cosine x. We're really just multiplying by one in a clever way, right? Because this is just one and it cancels. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to, still have this first term. So sine squared x over cosine x plus, and then cosine times cosine is cosine squared x over, and then here we have cosine x. All right, now we're in a good place because we have the same denominator, right? So we can actually add these fractions. So this is equal to, so we'll have sine squared plus cosine squared in the numerator, sine squared x plus cosine squared x, good stuff. All of this is divided by cosine x. And this is a super famous trigonometric identity. I always think like, even if you barely know trig, this is the one identity like everyone knows. Sine squared plus cosine squared is one. So this is one over cosine x. And then one over cosine x is just the secant function. So this is the secant of x. And there we have it. We have written our trig expression as a single function. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.